In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create that text animation that has been popping up on my Instagram feed. And I think it's looking so good because it's extremely minimalistic and clean. So with the extremely fast intro out the way, we're gonna get straight into After Effects. So first I'm gonna hit Ctrl plus T. I'm gonna type in text and I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat. We're gonna pick Montserrat black. I'm gonna turn the text into caps and we're gonna recenter it just like that. Put it probably somewhere here. Then I'm gonna hit Alt Shift P for position. I'm gonna move it somewhere here and then we're gonna slide in that text from the bottom. Let's select both keyframes, hit easy ease. We're gonna head over to the graph editor and we're just gonna create a steep slope from the left. So that's how it's looking, already pretty cool. I'm gonna probably extend it a bit. And now the effect we need to add is called echo. So let me quickly do that. So that's what we have. Now we need to play around with the settings to get a different look. So as you can see, the echo effect is multiplying the text. So if I change the number of echoes to five, we're just gonna have more of them. But for now, we're gonna take care of echo time. And here, basically, if you have it set to negative number, the echoes or the extra texts are gonna be delayed. But if you set it to a positive number, they are gonna be kind of going forward. So our desired look is to have them delayed. So we're just gonna leave it at the negative number. But what I'm gonna do here is just add one more zero. So that's our text now. Nothing's really happening because we need to change the number of echoes. So I'm gonna go for 15. It's already looking pretty sick. We could try maybe 17. That's looking really awesome. So now a little adjustment I would do is probably just putting the position a little bit lower here in the first frame and it's looking sick. Probably we could try adding opacity keyframes to fade it in. Let me just offset it a little bit. It is ease. So now what we need to do is add drop shadow to that text and I'm gonna bump up the opacity to 100 change the distance to zero. So it's kind of spreading all over the place and we're gonna bump up the softness like 150. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate that text and I'm gonna change the name to clean. I'm gonna reorder it. I'm gonna hit U for the text. I'm gonna select both keyframes here and make sure that the time indicator is on one of them because otherwise you're gonna be creating a new keyframe and that way we can change it all together. And now if we offset the text a little bit, which is the first layer over here, it's gonna look absolutely sick. Tell me if it's not perfect for Instagram. It's literally looking so good. Let's try to spice it up. We're gonna create another one and we're gonna change the name to four. I'm gonna do the same procedure, put it somewhere here maybe, and then we're gonna duplicate it one more time and I'm gonna rename the text to you. Hit you on the keyboard and then select both keyframes, put it somewhere here. We could probably play around with scale this time to just have something different. Adjust one more time. And here I'm gonna change the scale as well. Okay, now let's offset the layers. And now we got such a clean text animation. Also, it would make a little bit of difference if you added motion blur, but since we got the echoes that are kind of extending, it's a good workaround for the motion blur. So that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I'll see you tomorrow.